Hi, uh, this is Debbie, and I wanted to share with you ColorLovers.com, which is one of the websites I go to, because I'm not a designer, I'm a coder, when I uh, want to develop a new website. And I consider every class that I do online a different website, so I try to get a different look. So this is my inspiration for my look for my website. So let me start by showing you some of the stuff I've done in the past. We'll start here, okay? So this was about four years ago. It was December 21st, and it was cold and snowy, so you see my inspiration for an ice palace. And I used this pattern then for my XML class. Uh, there's the syllabus. You'll see similar colors. And here are some of the colors, um, the, the green and the blue, as you see um, in the reading for that class, okay? For this class, I was going with the colors in the Jenkins textbook. It has a train on it. Um, I think I actually started by looking at patterns and looking for train tracks in the patterns, but I also wanted yellow and blue and black like the book. And so this is the pattern I came up with and I created this web page. Now let me show you. Okay, so I actually started looking at several patterns when trying to come up with the design that I wanted to use for our web page. And then I created an HTML page. I do this for every class called Color Palette. Okay? And then you notice, you'll observe, there is the logo that we use for this class. So let me throw this into Dreamweaver. Okay? So here is the web page with the color palette in Dreamweaver. Briefly, what I did was I created a color class style called Color Div in which I will put, create divs on the web page, give it a height of 10 pixels and a width of 80%, and then do an inline style for every div with a different color. So here's the yellow for this div. And then below it, I write out in text the hex and the RGB, and then I use this as a handy reference when I'm designing so I can see the values I need to use in the HTML when I want those colors. Well, sometimes I use paint, and so paint does not use hex. Paint only uses RGB, so that's why I use the RGB also, okay? I'll also put down the pattern then. So there's another div here at the bottom, and that div, that div then has the background color of the pattern I selected for this website, okay? So let's take a look again at Color Lovers. Now, what Color Lovers has are palettes, patterns, colors that you can choose. You can actually upload palettes that you create. And so sometimes I'll just start by, oh, let me just browse all the, the colors. Well, browsing, of course, when there are millions of color palettes, that might take a while. So sometimes I, are, I kind of already know a color that I like. So what I'll do is I'll come up to search here and I'll type in, you can type in the keyword, okay, so green, or you can type in a hex to be more specific, okay, and there's also huge, and so now I'll come up with palettes containing some kind of green. Now, not exact, all kinds of different colors of green I see, so if you want an exact color, don't use the keyword. Let's see, green would RB, RGB would be 00, zero FF00, zero zero. Now that now you'll notice when I do my search, it's exact greens that are coming up. Okay, wow, well, that's kind of bright. Okay, then there are also patterns. Okay, so I'm going to go to the patterns page. Sometimes I'll start by browsing patterns. Okay, and you might come up with something that really appeals to you and go from there to choose your colors. Sometimes, okay, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll look for a pattern with a certain color. So you can also search, okay, for that same 00FF00 and find patterns that have that color in it. Maybe that'll be your inspiration. So as I said, you can download these patterns then, save them as a ping file, and then end up using them as your background. And... Uh, these, this is just for inspiration, so I hope that uh, if you need to use this site, um, you'll 